show you what having a piece of uh, furniture that is uh, very usable, you know, it's, uh, but it's flat. It serves a purpose, but it's flat. It doesn't have any features that denotes your taste. It's like a box with drawers. Uh, I'm here to show you how can you change a piece of furniture that you just made to suit yours or your customer's taste. Everybody has a piece of furniture that is flat and that is usable, but it doesn't it doesn't say anything for the furniture you build. It doesn't say anything about you. It doesn't say anything about your customer, for example. It doesn't say anything about being a piece of furniture. It sure is functional. That's not going to change. But the presentation is what is going to change. Your taste on the finish. Your taste on the on the uh, little things you can do, engraving and uh, inlays they can do for it. So today I'm going to demonstrate, I just built a chest of doors for my grandson's room. So today I'm going to show you, I'm not going to show you how to build a chest of drawers, cabinets and drawers and stuff like that because YouTube is full of those examples. What I try to show you is the little things that I did to it, to make it stand up to make it say I'm also a piece of nice furniture that will go with your decor, that will go with your taste. Okay, I did some inlays on the top and I did some carvings on, this, on, the, on each of the drawers and that changed fundamentally the, uh, the uh, aspect of the of the em embellishing of the furniture. So, with any further ado, I'll I'll show you what I did with this furniture, and uh, and I also I used a tool. I don't know if it's in production anymore, but it's made by Milecraft, and it helped me to to uh, embellish the. Uh, and the uh, the drawers on it, and uh, I have for for the record, I have nothing to do with either Minecraft or anything like that. I don't have any. I don't tell it. I don't do anything. All right. Now let's let's go to the project. Well, hello. We're here. I'm building a uh, chest of doors for my grandson. And instead of having a flat top, I decided to put some wood inlays. Uh, just simple, with a little bit of uh, mahogany. And wood inlay, but I, got, I decided to put a little bit deeper than the regular wood inlays. So, to do a cut that was straight and uh, constant, perfectly aligned and uh, the right width, I decided to build a improved jig. What I did, I got two pieces of three-quarter plywood and, uh, and uh, separated by certain uh, with evenly and then I put two stops so the only can come to a certain distance then I decided to because the width of the uh, the separation is uh, uh, wider than the uh, than the bit on the uh, router, 
I have to do a double cut. And when I say the top, I just run one way and then I come back at the other way with it. And uh, I change it a deep of the cut by moving this. So I did it on three times, not to overload the motor on the router, a plunge router. And, uh, and that's the way. Then the stop it stops on the middle of this line. Then I shorten the jig by going to put it perpendicular to the cuts I already had. And I use that line to uh, as a guide. Now, so I have a complete perfectly lined on all the cuts. Now, the uh, I used a jig, but I didn't use any clamps. It's difficult to clamp this jig out right here when it's not lit to clamp into. So what I did, I put a screw right on the line on each side. I put a screw and the screw hole is going to be inside the channel when I would insert the the uh, overlay, the inlay I should say. So that way nobody's going to see the screw hole. And I here when I put the uh, the cross pieces I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the screws inside the channel where the overlay is going to cover it. So no screw holes is going to be shown. And it holds it up a lot better than the clamp. At least you have to, you cannot clamp it where you're going to have the router coming in. So that way you, you even, you're, you, you're restricted to even more. So that way we'll see. I'm going to yeah, use some dark mahogany, red mahogany to do the inlays and glue the inlays in there and perhaps a couple of points or dots on each corner. Simple enough for a 14 year old but not so simple that it's boring. So I'm going to keep on working. I'm going to take some pictures and some and some uh, videos of what I'm doing. But that's basically the carcasses. The carcasses already built. The drawers are already built. You know, drawers with the dovetails. So all I have left is the inlays and the finishing. I still don't know how I'm going to finish it. I guess I'm going to decide as uh, I am approaching that, that step. Thank you. Russian flags and demand. has some sort of mystical quality. I'm Roger Lim, I worked at the Radio Phonic Workshop as a producer, as a composer.